what I'm going to do now is show you a compilation of people oh, yawning. So if you do have acne, just the best thing to do is go to a doctor. It's not that big I can't thing. believe you would do something like this. Oh my god, guys. This woman is about to get kicked off the plane for having a fidget spinner. What the hell? Did I fake being colourblind? All of this and more will be answered in today's Q&A. What have you been doing while having a break from YouTube? This is what I've been doing. That's, that's quite a funny photo. I'm sure most of you know who the pro gamer Jay is, or at least remember that name a little bit from like back in the day of 2016 YouTube, when you'd log onto YouTube, type in Lee Feed, and then you recommended you'd see that there were these weird colorblind videos being recommended to you, and you'd, do, and you'd click them. Why did you click them? Why? And then you'd have this Muppet up on screen, shining a flashlight into his eye, and yeah, that was the video. Going back to look on these first videos, we can just see they're mostly Black Ops 2 and a bit of Minecraft. We have a bit of Minecraft there. Hello everyone, what's going on today i'm going to be giving you a minecraft video I am the one, the way and his first video is just some weird intro that he just uploaded to his channel because people used to just upload their intros to their channels for some reason and then he kind of just dived into the whole fifa phase clearly he watches ksi <laughs> Throughout the FIFA phase, I think this is when he mostly developed where his persona came from. But one, he started to show his face with a video called Epic PS4 Unboxing. Here we go, here's the PS4. And then when we move on a bit, we can see that the thumbnails start to change colour. Wow. Mostly because this is where the clickbait comes in. One million coins per day. Ten million giveaway. Huge. Humongous. After he realizes that clickbait in videos actually gets him views, it took it to a whole new level to the point where his thumbnails would actually probably give you a my brain. And then he mostly went on to just doing like clickbait cod videos of Black Ops 3. And most of these thumbnails just consisted in him using arrows. For whatever reason, I don't really know. And then this is when he started moving on to illusion videos. And just stare into the center of the spiral. Now what I want you to do is while you're actually watching this, breathe really, really slowly. Just if 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 you want to take a break, would you like to take a break? Now after when the Pro Gamer J stops all the clickbait on gaming stuff like FIFA and Call of Duty, he moved on to just commentary stuff. I say I say commentary with really big quotations like big big ones. And I'll even show you a screenshot now of just a just pure mess of just clickbait after clickbait. Most of these videos just consist of face cam on, uh, illusion of a screen, I talk. But one day, after when the Pro Gamer J was just finishing another one of his um, clickbait videos, it ended with one final clickbait video titled Recording My Dreams Using Datcha App, which gained a million views and was recorded two years ago. And that was it. The video was uploaded November 5th, 2017, and that was the last we really saw of the Pro Gamer J properly. He just sort of disappeared. Until one day, almost a year later, on September 9th, 2018, he uploaded a video saying, Recently, why I recently. <laughs> while I recently tried to end my life. Now, I remember at the time when this video came out, I made a crap on the internet on it, saying that he's back and stuff. And at the time, he had privated all of his clickbait stuff. The Pro Gamer J, the guy that disappeared for about nine months and then came back with a video titled, Why I Recently Tried to End My Life. Now, this video, I've saw, I've watched the whole entire video and it has like four mid-roll ads on it, so that's lovely, you know? It's just a video based around suicide and you're putting money on it. You know, that's just what you do, in it? You know, if I made a video called My Nan Died Lol, I wouldn't put about six ads on it now would I know now boys and girls if you would like to come on this journey with me we're gonna do a jinx level reaction and we're gonna watch this video together of why he tried to kill himself recently how and why did I try and end my life did I not think about my mum on the floor screaming when she got the call after the doctor told her about my broken neck brain bleed and 30% chance of survival why just a few hours after I woke up from the first attempt did I try and attempt to end my life again despite the love and support my family gave me. Now this is a lot to grasp already. Like it's been nearly a year that this guy disappeared and he's just come out with this video and it was very unexpected, put it that way. To explain how I got here, I just need to rewind a little bit. See, if you go on my channel, you'll notice I didn't upload here, here, and here. 
Now, obviously, like most of us, we thought this was clickbait. We thought he was coming back from maybe a little hiatus he had taken, which, let's face it, it was a hiatus. When he came back, we thought he was going to make more clickbait stuff, and we thought this was one of them. When we say we, I bet I was the only one, but... <laughs> now, I know from your perspective, it looks like I just got lazy and I gave up. But from my perspective, it's, it's been such a different story. When I first started making videos, it was like my little escape from getting bullied at school. And honestly, this coping mechanism got me through my teens. Obviously, he's talking about how Jay is use, used to use YouTube as a way to escape bullying and stuff like that. Although he used it in a very strange way, like all the FIFA coin videos and the COD one. I digress, people, obviously, we make shit content. If you look back on my old videos, they're bad. If you look back on anyone's old videos, they're bad. Everyone's old videos are bad. But this video just takes a weird turn by just playing some, like, weird animation stuff. What I didn't realise is that when my friends had told me that this substance had no side effects, they were very wrong. The day after I quit, I was sober enough to realise the hallucinations I was having. I remember going for a walk outside in my local area and getting completely lost because I had no memory or recollection of where I was. I even went to my parents' house and begged them to take me to the doctors for Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Now if what Jay here is saying is true, that is un really unfortunate and I hope things did get better with him and all that. But I think he should have put a disclaimer for people with like epilepsy or something. Like Jesus Christ, do you guys remember that Pokemon episode that had to be taken down because all the bright- There was like this fight scene that had so many bright colours it had to be taken down. <laughs> After when he uploaded the why I recently tried to end my live video, he kept uploading videos of things were just normal again. He even did a stream where he just cut his hair for every view he got. Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Logan Paul. Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Not too sure what I think about that video, but okay. And then he went on to actually creating his own original content that was actually pretty entertaining to watch, like that I built a skateboard out of 10,000 coloured pencils. Believe it or not, this actually isn't clickbait. You can watch the entire video, it's actually quite entertaining, and he made fucking skateboard out of coloured pencils. Like, Jesus Christ. You can tell a lot of time and effort went into that video, so I'll give him that one. That rocked up around 11 million views. And then after that video, he uploaded I built a secret underground Lego temple, which also is actually the most viewed video on his channel so things were looking pretty good for Jay he was uploading his own original content and he was getting some amazing views from it but then all of a sudden his videos went from millions to just a couple of thousands like the video after that only gained 16,000 it was called 24 hours on cat island now I think that's just crazy for a video to go from 16 million to just 16k it just doesn't seem natural and then videos after that started to get like 85k 5k 9k 4k he even tried recreating the skateboard video again but it only rocked around 49k views not even getting 100k but then one day something weird changed on the channel and it still changed to this day and this is probably the biggest change he's ever done in his channel after best fortnite what the fuck moments of 2019 was uploaded after that just began to upload trailers from films. Fortnite the movie, James Bond, Godzilla vs Kong, Avatar 2. Here's just a pile of just films, he just, trailers he just up, re-uploaded. And it's really strange because he's still doing videos like this today. And all of these recent videos that are like two weeks ago, a week ago, are just gaining like 9k, 24k views. His views took a massive nosedive and I don't understand why. Now his most recent video was uploaded a day ago and it's just falling from the sky in car in GTA games, which has no commentary whatsoever, it's just videos of cars falling in GTA or exploding. Nice. Now you think after uploading all these videos it would be destroying his channel and he wouldn't be gaining any subscribers, in fact he should be losing them. Well, in the last 30 days, according to Social Blade, he's been, he gained 10k subs in a month. Which is just crazy, people are seeing these videos and subscribing to them. In 30 days he gained 5 million views. Looking at his earnings, he seems to be doing just fine. So yeah, anyway guys, this is the conclusion to the what happened to the Pro Gamer J video. I know my style was a bit different on this video, I hope you did enjoy it. I don't know if this is going to be a permanent and change for stuff like this but leave a comment down below if you want me to do another youtuber of what happened wait did that even make sense no it didn't if i'm gonna do a video like this again the next one i have in mind is the annoying orange <laughs> so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video please have a good day subscribe if you are new and i will see you later mm -hmm.